Hello everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood Tater here, and we are back in Forever Stranded. We've been doing a lot of off-camera work. A lot. Too much, actually. And as a result, uh, I've noticed something. Um, well, first of all, let's see. We've um, extended our perimeter out quite a bit. You'll see some of these uh, things out there. We've been doing ex some exploring because apparently... Oh, and uh, all my crops died. Because apparently it's fall or winter or something. And um, so there's seasons, apparently. Even though it's all desert, there's still seasons. So we end up with uh, things like dying crops. We end up with much cooler temperatures. So I've been able to explore during the day a little bit. And I found a desert temple, another desert temple, and a city. A ruined city way over that way. Uh, quite a ways, 500 meters away. Can't really get there at night because of the mobs. Also, there was an update to the pack, some changes. I uh, can't really tell you what changed exactly. There's a few things, uh, but a um, little hiccup with uh, mobs for, for, for a minute or two, but we fixed that uh, with the help of GW Sheridan on his Discord. Uh, so we're all good now, and we've made a massive cactus farm for dirt production. Just a ton and ton and ton, but we're not going to do that right now. In fact, I probably need to put some more dirt down. Some more cactus into the barrels. We've extended out our dirt area a little bit. We've uh, made uh, a larger area for growing. Uh, but, unfortunately, like I say, everything died. So, And I tried planting and they just die again, so I'm, I've stopped. So I hope that what I have in the uh, food chest, this one, is going to sustain me through the winter. Should have thought of that before, I guess. But, you know, I didn't know that was the thing, so... Apparently there's even a, uh, an item. Let me show you real quick, like. There is a... Season clock. Which will take nether quartz, which I'm not sure how to get. And we'll just have to wait on that. Now, one thing I did notice uh, in a test world, I figured this out in a test world. Uh, to get diamond shards... Diamond shards, you need to make this yaw hammer, yet another hammer, which requires nether brick. Well, in the test world, <laughs> I made a nether portal and checked it out, and of course there's no natural nether rack, so how do you get nether rack? I was like, what the heck, how am I supposed to get that? So apparently, if you go through here, you'll see barrel crafting, redstone over lava makes nether rack. Oh, so what kind of barrel can I put lava in? Well, I don't know, but... Um, in my test world, a stone barrel worked. So let's do that real quick. Even though that's not part of our uh, quest quest structure yet, uh, we need stone slabs and we need stone. So I need to have uh, straight up stone, and I do need if I have any right now. I don't think I do. So oh, I made a few more chests too. Hmm. No, nope, I don't have any stone. So we got to cook stone. So let's just do that real quick. Let's see, do we have anything? Oh yes, we've been making seared brick, by the way. We are, will be able to make a smeltery. So we need six to make the slabs first, and then six more. So 12 should do, but let's just go ahead and do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's two pieces of coal for that. Let's get back in here. up the rest of my cactus and then show you what I've been doing down underneath there we go oh, one piece of cactus left really okay so we're gonna put that one piece of cactus there you can grow another cactus anyway all right so uh, no another thing I got to do is let's move some seared brick oh and I found some things uh, I will show you where I found it though we're gonna keep sandstone some sandstone. Let's move some of it up here. Let's move this sand in here. Um, sandstone stairs. We'll move away. We'll keep this. Let's uh, put the dirt away. And we'll put our cobblestone away. We'll put the diamond hammer away. And I should get some water just in case. Um, okay, okay, 
I think that's going to do. Anyway, you see, it's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, so we're going to make the diamond shards with the stone barrel eventually. Uh, well, with the yaw ham... Uh, anyway. I have, uh, let's see, how are we doing on this stuff? So we've got 13 redstone, so it'll be easy enough to make three nether racks. I don't, that won't be too difficult. We've got eight diamonds, so no big deal there. We'll be fine. So down below here, we've been doing a little excavating. As you can see, I've replaced the floor with sandstone so that I don't have to worry about it falling out from underneath us. We've got all kinds of... Oh, one of those... We got a bunch of stuff in here because we've been sifting but down below as you can see there's a little bit of sand left here but uh, I've gone down we've gone down people we uh, wanted to see if it was any cooler down at bedrock and I don't know that it is but I was headed down to bedrock hey look it got a lot cooler right there interesting what level is that we're at 44 now at 42 the temperature drops considerably that's interesting Anyway, then all of a sudden I came across some sandstone. So I started cutting out to see what was below. And we've got a mine shaft directly below our base. How cool. Oh, you know what? I don't have any torches made. Oh, well. Anyway, so I put a couple torches down. As you can see, we've got... We did not explore very far. Uh, just far enough to put a couple torches in. Don't know if I'm going to come across any... Uh, coal. I'm sure that I'm going to run across some some bad guys. So we'll uh, we'll lure him down this way and light up a few other areas nearby. Oh no. Okay, that is uh, that's some bad news right there. So we're going to leave that alone for now and hope we don't run into those guys. Where was, um, the zombie was coming from this way. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's one over there, too. Sneaky little bugger. Oh, my, there's actually quite a few there? Ah, ah, no, no. Oh, I cannot play around. Cannot play around. Oof. They're going to come from the other direction, aren't they? They might be coming from the other direction. Oof. Oof. Uh, okay, I think I'm okay. The moment. Now the I will pick up these rails eventually. Um, I don't have enough torches to get too far. Trying to stick to my torch convention. I haven't seen any chests yet. There was a chest real close to where I uh, to where I uh, came down into the mine shaft, and that's how I ended up with that steel helmet. Alright, that's it. I'm out of I'm out of torches, so now I have to head back up. Cause I don't have any coal on me, of course. Because I was not thinking ahead properly. Once we get things lit up then I can uh head back and head back down and get all this rail. Wait, where's um Oh, there it is. Stairs. I knew there was stairs somewhere. Now, we're just going to block this off because I don't want zombies coming up into my base. That would be bad. 
Uh, I still have a lot of sand. I still have some of the sand to get rid of there and see see how things go. Now let's watch the temperature gauge here a little bit again. So now we're at 40, 41, 42, and no, it didn't go up that time. I wonder if it was just the night. Oh no, see it's it is gradually gr uh, increasing as I go up. Well, that's interesting. That is telling. It does work. It is cooler down there, so we might have to spend some time down there, maybe figure out a way to make fast drops or um, some sort of elevator kind of thing or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, where would I put the coal? I think the coal's down in this chest. I should have looked. Mm -hmm. Yes, coal is here. Okay. Now, um... Actually, I probably won't mess with that right now. I'm, I'm going to show you something. No. Yeah, that's fine. Um, where's the... Ugh, the label my chests or something. I'm getting confused now. This, no, that's a sand from down below. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Get rid of these. Um, I need to drink some water. Refill over here. Okay, since it's daytime now, I have some time. We'll head uh, toward the city, and you can at least see what that looks like. Now, there are spawners in the buildings, so I'm not going to venture too far in without some decent gear. And um, I will probably teleport back, because by the time I get there, I will be in, on the hot side. Uh, but because it's fall or whatever season this is supposed to be, it's not nearly as hot as it has been. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring any food. Oh, wow, I'm so stupid. Well, anyway, it's not that far at least. Um, all I did was I had gone in, in several directions straight from the base just to see. I shouldn't do that without any food on uh, in my inventory. I know teleportation is a little bit cheaty. But to be honest, uh, there's no way I think I could get back in the amount of time that I'd have to get back. So perhaps someday in the future I'll have a rail system set up or a tunnel or something down low. That way I can uh, traverse this, this distance without, without so much fear. There's another desert temple there. I didn't mark that on my map because it was so close to the path that I was going over here already. I have not pulled any of the loot out of these desert temples yet. So uh, that'll be something I'll do eventually as well. So there's some stuff, and the TNT could come in handy, I suppose, for, I don't know, busting down some buildings or something over here. So you can see the buildings start to take shape. We're coming up onto the city now. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting hot already. So we'll see. I'll just take a peek. I didn't really see any loot too much. There's a couple of chests here and there, but uh, the quick perusal that I made without getting too crazy... Um, these these are kind of weird, and I didn't notice these on my test world. Oh, look at that! Huh? I don't have any torches to light those up. I didn't notice that before. So some of these holes must have spawners in them. Some may be hidden by these things. Possibly. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. I know that uh, there are a lot of spawners inside the buildings. As you can see, I'll, I'll just poke my head in over here. And you can see now we've already got... already got guys um, spawning consecrated oil, soil. That's cool. Um, oh, there's some baddies in there, isn't there? There may be some that will not uh, catch on fire, either. We'll have to figure out a way to uh, attack some of these guys here without hopefully uh, dying too easily. Because <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a difficult, difficult situation. Also, the, these are multi-store buildings in some cases where what I don't see is... Um, I don't see uh, ways to... I think I had done that. 
And we could get a lot of books. I don't I can't really pull the bookshelves. Whoa. Um Yeah. I could chop chop them and just get the books, I suppose. Alright, be that way then. Oh, you're gonna... Oh boy. I don't think they burn. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, let me come back once I get that uh, stuff all recovered, because that's... that's bad. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, we're back here. We've... Made our trek, and we've got baddies on our on our tail already. Uh, I gotta get everything sorted back out. At least they're sort of uh, burning. Some of them, at least. Oh no! Well, we're not gonna run back in in that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna teleport because you know I cheat. Sorry, I can't. I cannot run back in a blood moon. That would not be fun. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Okay, so so much for that. Anyway, um, yeah, so much for anything. Uh, shoot. Well, we've got to. Um, we've got to. Let me uh, shore this up since the blood moon's on this spiders and whatnot will be will be out so that could be fun I hope that I've got this lit up well enough I'll have to play it by ear but uh, for now I guess we'll go back down into the into the dungeon uh, once we get um, some torches made all right let's see what did I do with the torches the coal what did I, uh, my memory is just horrendous there's my. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's let's just put some excessive extra stuff away. We got some bones from somewhere. We'll put those away. We don't need that thing. Uh, I don't even need arrows. I had I had some arrows somewhere. I don't remember where I put them. Is it just in here? Yeah, there's some in there. I don't even have a bow, so I don't know what's the point. Um. Yeah. I don't know if the blood moon will affect the spawn rates down below. Good question. What did I do with the sand? Oh, that was a weird artifact. No, uh, sand was here. That's a lot of sand. <laughs> I can make a lot of sandstone with that. Um, but yeah. My cat is going crazy outside for some reason. Well, my wife's cat, I should say. I'm not really, uh... Anyway, no big deal. Uh, so we ate some bread, so that means that's no good anymore. Ah, uh, what am I gonna label stuff? Okay, so now what do we have for food that I haven't eaten? We've got apple juice, I guess I can take those. Uh, melons, although those don't do much for you anymore. And I'll take cookies to give myself an option. Let's see, the wood is in this one. Do I have any sticks? Oh, that's where the other arrows went. I do not have any sticks. Uh, I'll just take a little bit of wood here. Actually, yeah, that's probably enough. I can chop more wood down there. All right, um, oh, let me get rid of that. Since that seems like an interesting thing that I can keep. Keep the sandstone on the bar. We'll keep the thermometer on the bar. Eh, let's go down. Let's go down again. Let me see where we're at on recording time. Hmm. 
<laughs> Come on. What? Well, that was weird. Took forever. Wow, I am pretty far already, so... I guess that's probably going to have to do it. We're at 20 minutes already. Didn't really do anything, did we? All right, well, we'll do some more exploring down below, and, uh... Seems like the, the episodes just go so fast. That's why I do so much off-camera work, because there's so much grindiness to do, and eventually I'll be able to, you know, automate some of this stuff. I'm not sure what or where or how, but we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. And we've still got to build something, because this is still is not really um, the greatest thing in the world or anything. So, you know, it's, it's kind of boring. Um, the old ship kind of falling apart. Uh, I know i got to plug these holes up before I can put in air conditioning coils, which I hope to have soon. Oh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, let's do that real fast. we got the stone. Let's make the stone barrel. I don't know if I have enough lava to put in it, though. First of all, slabs. Okay, now well, we have the stone barrel. And we'll put that outside, of course. Let's just put it over here next to this one. Uh, oh, I have a bucket, but it's filled with water at the moment. Let's just put it in there. And there we go. So now, I don't know if I have enough... I eh, probably have enough lava. Let's make some netherrack. We can make this... Um, just need three pieces. Put it in my hand. Should be able to get three pieces of lava going, I think. And there you go. There's your netherrack. Alright, let's do this. Great time to do it at night, too, when it's cold. Bloop, 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 bloop. And there we go. Now, let's see. Uh, what was I doing? Yaw hammer. But that's in lieu of making shards. So let's get the shard thing up here. Uh, so I also need to make the shard die, which requires some iron bars. Obsidian, which I'm going to have to figure out how to do. How am I going to make obsidian? Oh, that is an iron level pick, so that I will not be able to pick it up with that. So, I guess we won't get there too far. Anyway, I will have to figure out how to make and collect a piece of obsidian. Uh, maybe there's a way in here that I don't know about yet. What? A thousand? For one piece of obsidian. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I don't have that going yet. Void Miner. Dungeon chests. Ah, oh, maybe I can just find one in a dungeon chest. I'll get lucky. Yeah, doubtful. Anyway, uh, there's something with two there. Dungeon chests. Uh, another fortress blacksmith. Okay, so, yeah, so much for that. So, anyway, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, but at any rate, we have a start. We, have, we can now make the yet another hammer. And, um... Which was... Um, sticks and string. That's easy enough. What do I do with my string? Two strings. I have wood. Two sticks. Two strings. Three nether bricks. There we go. So we have part of it, at any rate. But in order to get this diamond or this shard die, we need obsidian. So I have to figure out a way to get the obsidian mined. Well, actually, I have diamonds, so I guess I can make a diamond pick. That's really not that difficult. I just need to plop down some lava and um, make a diamond pick with three of my eight diamonds. Wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's just do it right now. Let's just do it. I can't make a diamond pick. Ah, that's awesome. So so much for that. How do you make a diamond pick? I guess uh, I need to... Um, I can't... Uh, can I add anything to this? I guess I can. Mining level iron, though. Oh, I can make... 
can I, what if I add mining level diamond? That would do it. Alright, well, let's just do that. Alright then. Then it doesn't matter. And then it just doesn't matter. Alright, let's, first of all, pick up a little water. Um, I'm not sure if I can do this right. Oh, there's not enough in there. Arrgh! Do I have any cobble? I had cobble. I gotta put more cobble in. Well, I don't know that I'll get this done. <laughs> this is taking forever. I have tons of cobble. Alright. Ay, 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 ay. Alright, get rid of the sand. Put some cobble in. And wait! So we'll be back. So much for the blood moon. That was useless. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I should uh, harvest what I can from here. Parsnips and rice and spice leaves. While I can. While I still can. Let's get the pumpkins. Okay. While I can still get crops, I will continue to get crops. Doop. I'll keep those. Let's put the diamonds away. Well, I might have to cut this down a little bit. This is going to be way too long. We're at about 25 minutes or so already. So we'll have to cut down some of the... Uh... Can't do it until that's all gone. So anyway, we'll, we'll be back. I'll just do it that way. All right, be right back. Hello, we're back, and I've made obsidian, but I can't pick it up with this pick, so I have to do something to get something else going to get a pick to pick, pick this up. So, unfortunately, I'm left uh, to sign off for now, and uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode, which may be right after. I may do two again this week like I did last week, just because it seems like so much content to put together. I still have to uh, do some more work down below in the dungeon, obviously, and pick up all those rails. Maybe I can make a uh, rail system to go out to the city and save some time and effort and whatnot. So anyway, we're getting a little warm, so uh, I guess we'll cool off. But anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Hit that like button, please, if you enjoyed what you saw today. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Uh, check out the links to the Discord, the subscriber Discord server in the, in the description below. Uh, we've also got the Simpletons group. Uh, Discord, uh, you can check out on my other videos. I didn't put it on here. I don't know why I'm mentioning it. That's dumb. Uh, we've got Patreon as well, if you're interested. Uh, check that out. Uh, no obligation, obviously, but it uh, would be greatly appreciated. And uh, I hope to see more of you soon. We're uh, chugging right along on the subscriber count, 431 right now. Uh, slow but sure, but uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with people... I'm okay with people who want to be here to be here and uh, checking out my content and we're getting warm so we're gonna go downstairs so thank you so much and we'll see you next time bye bye